Okay, everyone, for some more of my Dorado's career mode for FIFA 22. And we are going to be beginning the Klauser right here in this particular career mode, which is the second half of the Liga MX season. Last time we won the Aperture, not in the regular season, not only did we top the, the table during the regular season, but we also won the Ligia. But, um, yeah, as far as the Klauser... I'm going to be simming every game because I want to see what this team does on its own merit and see if it can reach not only the gear, but can be, become the Klausura champions all by themselves without without my help at all. But I'm curious to see how that goes. By the way, I hope you guys have an awesome day today. I hope you all are doing well. But I'm actually going to be beginning this episode because I did send three of my scouts out to do um, monthly scouting reports, and first one here is from Uruguay. Uh, not high enough overall. Not high enough overall. Uh, Valentin Aquino, he's a goalkeeper, but I'll go ahead and sign him. And Everisto Aguilar. Not high value though, so I'm gonna have to reject him unfortunately. Okay, Thomas Rodriguez. Decent value, decent wage. I'll go ahead and sign him. Julian Machado. 250 grand. I'll go ahead and sign him. Esteban Pineda. 325,000 value. Um, decent potential. Juan Carlos Segura. His wage is good, but not particularly his overall. And Christian Bravo. I'm going to go ahead and reject him. And Argentina. Wow. Off. 200. Hmm. I'm actually going to hang on to him. Antonio Vidal is a no. Viago Lozano. Reject. Ayala. No. And... Eusebio Granero. Hmm. I'll go ahead and keep him. And let's take a look at the people that I... Oh. And let's take a look at the people that I just signed. I think we just completed an objective. No, he didn't. But my manager rating went up. It was at a 98. Now it's at a 99. Okay, let's look at the people that we just signed. Uh, Valentina Aquino, 52 rated. Kind of a stocky build goalkeeper, I've noticed. So, let's see. I want to improve his positioning. And I also improve his weak foot. Um, Julen Machado, 46 rated. Uh... Not a real big fan of that, if I'm being honest. Looks like he's better off as a left midfielder. It's only going to take him two weeks. He's got good pace, good balance, decent agility. Yeah, he looks like he's more of a left midfielder than left wing back. Esteban Pineda. Could be a cousin of Webelin Pineda that we have on the team. Could also be a decent center back. I'm going to go ahead and train him for the opposite side. Wallen, Rodriguez, and we have Bel Ghazi here. Thomas Rodriguez. See what he's better suited as. He can either be a center forward or strike. I have a feeling this guy's gonna be a cam. Could also be a winger. He's got good pace. Do I want him as a cam or do I want him as a winger? I think I'm going to trade him to be a winger. Let's 
to go ahead and put Perez on my second team. But we are going to sim ahead here. As far as transfer business in this January window, I don't plan on doing anything. Except maybe get rid of some players that I don't need anymore. But I don't, I don't plan on bringing anybody in. Or anything like that. I'm liking the team the way it is. So I'm not going to touch it. At least for the season. At least for the rest of the season. You see our first game in the Klauser is against Monterey. And like I said, I am going to be simming every game. <gasps> oh no. I cannot get rid of Christian... Oh, I cannot afford to lose him. Why is he very unhappy? Oh, this is bad. Okay, crucial. Okay, 120. I don't. I do not want to release clause. Crucial. I'm going to negotiate. I cannot afford to lose Christian Palomino. Of course they're gonna have me ask for 140 and I'm gonna give him a uh, I'll give him a 200,000 signing bonus just so he'll stay on okay good yeah I cannot he is the star of this career mode I cannot afford to have him Yeah, I cannot afford to have him leave. Hi, boss. Good to see you. I just want to say that it's great for my confidence. Now you still value what I can bring to the team. I'm going to say never doubted you. Whew. <laughs> I got a little bit of a scare there at the beginning of this. Can't believe we're almost 10 minutes in and I haven't even simmed the game yet. Yeah, Florentina, chance attacks have broken down, no kidding. We were gonna attack back on. Oh, come on. What's going on, game? Cardona transfer offer. He's my starting center back, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting rid of him. From Cruz's soul of all teams. I'm going to go ahead and block that. Let me look again. Because I don't know what's going on. Okay, he's still very unhappy. He submitted a transfer request. I'm going to go ahead and block offers. Cannot block bids for a player who requested a move away from the club. Why does he want out of the club? But anyway, we're going to go ahead and play this game against Monterey. Well, we're not going to play it, but we're going to sim it. Hopefully game time will make him happy. I don't know. Hopefully we, we open things up with a dub. And we open up with a loss. We did not have a loss the entire Klauser, but the opening game of the Aperture, we, we start with a loss, so that's not ideal. Okay, we gotta pick things up here. Yeah, that's not how I want to start this. Come on, I... I 
This is not the beginning of the episode that I was imagining. I really was not. Okay. Let's see if we can beat Chivas. Sim. And we do beat them, so we do get a win. I didn't get to see... I should see who scores these goals. And we are up to ninth right now. And we are now up to sixth. Dorado is stuck in a wreck. Not really. We got this game against Nicoxa. Albert Sierra, loan offer with an option to buy. Let's see, who is Sierra? I don't think he's anybody too important on the team, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. I'm not, I will not give them the option to buy. I'm gonna go ahead and delegate. As we sim ahead here, this game against Nicoxa. Perez, Rafael Perez, a goalkeeper. A backup goalkeeper. Nope. I remember when Ando Kappa was considered a wonder kid in FIFA. But I'm going to go ahead and sim with my second team against Nick Cox. I know Nick Cox are in a Legia position, but I need to have my strongest starting lineup against um, Tigres. We're going to go ahead and quick sim this. And we get the 2 0 win. Rodriguez and Rivero score. Palomino came on for Pasquale. Pasquale's happy, even though I really haven't been giving him a lot of game time. I'm going to say I'm proud of him. And I'm going to go back to my first team here in this game against Tigres. Palomino is a plus four, so he'll be performing like an 85 rated striker. Share a loan agreement. On a two year loan, okay. I'll happy accept that. Hopefully, Sierra, Sierra is happy with that. Usually, players go to play with teams in the same league for some reason. I'd be very surprised that it ends up falling through. And we are in third right now, despite only get, uh, getting two out of three. Well, I say that like it's a bad thing. I'm so used to winning a lot of my opening games, but that's pretty good. Berterami... Been playing pretty well, but we got bigger games ahead. FIFA really needs to change it to that the dialogue on those. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna quick sim this. And we get a 2 2 draw, Palomino with the brace. Excuse me. Quinones opened up the scoring, and uh, Gonzalez gets the equalizer in the 84th minute for them, but... Nice to see Palomino performing. Do we have anybody on the goal score? No, we don't. Villarreal got Nicolas Sula, uh, Sula, which, at the time of recording this, Villarreal recorded a shock upset win over Bayern Munich in the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinals. I know people laughed at me uh, because I was on uh, Facebook, and people laughed at me whenever they asked who the dark horse in the Champions League was, and I said Villarreal. Christian Palmer. I already did! 
Oh, if we end up losing Palomino because he wants to, this game wants to be stupid. I'll just buy him back, that's all. Oh, that is so stupid. If I end up losing out on him because this game wants to be stupid. I have a feeling I'm going to lose out on Palomino. Which I'll, I'll end up buying him back, but... But anyway, we're going to sim this game against Atlas. And we get the 1-0 win. Rivero ends up scoring for us. I cannot afford to lose Palomino. I can't. I cannot afford. Palomino transfer offer. I'm almost half tempted to agree to this deal and then just buy him back. I really am. Okay, let's see. Because this is unnecessary crap that I'm not... How much do I have? 19.76. But I'm not going to have enough time, though. Uh, I, I'm taking a huge risk here. I'm going to go ahead and accept this. And I'm going to end up having to buy him back. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Palomino has been sold. This is nonsense. It really is. Bruno Rame can play as a striker. 54.7. Okay, I want to see if we can buy him back. Hmm. Looks like the player is unwilling to locate at this time. Oh my god. You are kidding me. Player is not... This is turning into an absolute disaster. This is turning into an absolute disaster. Oh my god. Well, it looks like Berto Rame is going to have to be my new starting striker. <sighs> All because this game wants to be stupid. I don't even know what to say right now. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm, I'm just going to buy him back. I don't care. I'm going to figure out a way to buy him back.
Jesus Perez, who is that? Jesus Perez, who is that? I don't play with a wing back, so yeah, they can. Celtic can have him. I am just so salty about the freaking Palomino thing. I really am. I just offered the guy a new contract, and he's like, "Well, you didn't meet my wage demands." <sighs> that that just completely killed my mood for this particular episode. It really did. Okay, and Mika Rivero, reject. Tomas Lozano, not good value, but looks like he could be... Potential's good. I'm just going to go... It, despite his low value, I'm going to go ahead and sign him. Reject. Donnie Duran, I'm going to go ahead and sign him. 48-64, another goalkeeper that I really don't need. I'm going to go ahead and just reject that. Gonzalez... I'll sign you. Ikubeo, look at this guy. I'm going to go ahead and sign him. Hernan Cifuentes. I'll hang on to you. Juan Garrido. I'll hang on to you. Samuel Duran. Not good enough potential. Sergio Diaz. Poor, poor potential and poor overall. Okay, Salcedo and Granero, the guys that I was looking at before. I'm going to go ahead and sign Granero. So, so I don't need another goalkeeper. Pedro Parra, I'm going to go ahead and sign you. Fabrizio Duque, I don't need another goalkeeper. Mm, not good enough value. David pa David Paz, I don't need another goalkeeper. And... I'm going to hang on to Salcedo just a little bit longer. And then next week, next month will be the last month of um, scouting updates. Okay, let me see if I can, since the transfer window is done, I'm going to see if I can buy Palomino back. I'm going to try. He's unwilling to lo relocate at this time. He is going to be, that, that is going to be number, my number one priority next season is to go in after him. I cannot get over that. So Bertorami is going to have to be my striker this season. He, which, he can play there, I think. Well, he does have the... Yeah, he, he's going to have to be my striker whether he likes it or not. Because my hands are kind of tied right now. I'm going to go ahead and sim this. We get the 2-2 two -two draw. Bertorame and Rodriguez ends up scoring. Yeah, my mood is just absolutely deflated right now after that. We are, we're still in second, so it's not too terrible. I cannot believe we lost Palomino. I'm hoping at the beginning of next season, if I... No, because of that, I'm not even sure if I even want to do another season in this career mode, to be honest with you. I was because I didn't think that freaking... That would have happened with Palomino, but... Anyway, we're going to go ahead and quick sim this against Toluca. And we get the 1-1 draw. Edelgo ends up scoring. Samudio gets the equalizer for them. We get this match against Mazatlan. I think I'm going to go ahead and put my second team up against this team. This will probably be a mistake. I'll find out. And it was. They ended up... Pasquale got a, a consolation goal in the 72nd minute. But I can't keep on playing my first team all the time. I need to rotate. 
And we are currently 7th right now. Hopefully a bounce back game against Puebla here. We are currently, we went from 2nd place to 8th place for that loss. But anyway, oh, that reminds me, I haven't shown you guys Puebla's kits. There we go. The Red Sox are kind of interesting. Puebla had a new crest a couple of seasons ago that they played with that I actually like better than their current crest, which was their old crest, but... They went back to it for whatever reason. And we do get the 2 1 win. Berterame and Rodriguez scores for us. Okay, Pasquale, which I didn't even get to see the new. Um, Youth Scouts, which I'm going to go ahead and do we have one more game in February? I think we do. Yeah, we do. We got this game against Pumas. I'm going to send the game against Pumas and I'm going to see the new uh, Youth Scouts and then I'll end the episode. And then the next episode, we'll finish the Klausura. I still cannot believe we lost Palomino. I'm telling you this right now, at the beginning of the second season, we still can't buy Palomino for whatever reason. I'm going to be done with this career mode, so... The, 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 the next episode could potentially be the series finale here, I don't know yet. But anyway, we're up against second place Pumas. And I also need to look at development plans, I know some of my guys have grown in overall. We're going to go ahead and quick sim this. And we get the 3-1 win. Rivero with a brace and Pineda with a goal. But I do want to go ahead and look at the players that we signed to our youth academy. Okay, Machado goes from a 46 to 53. Nice. And I'll train him on the opposite side. Duran, what do you look like? No, well, he's not. Okay, you're a winger. So I'm going to train you to be a right winger. Okay, para. I don't play with CDM, so if you're not anything but... If you're anything other than a C... If you're not anything other than a CDM, I'm not keeping you. Good physicality, good pace. I'm going to train you to be a center back. Pineda... What do I have you trained as? I don't even remember. Oh, I have you training as a right back. Everisto Gonzalez. Can be a left mid or a right winger. Okay, looks like you are a wide mid. Tomas Rodriguez, he went up to 52, he is now right winger. Eusebio Grinnell, 
What are you? Can either be a center forward or a striker? Okay, looks like you are. You could either be a cam or a winger. You got good pace, you got good dribbling. I'm gonna have you as a cam. Iker Bayo, 60 rated. He's a center forward, though. I don't play with center forwards. Please tell me you're either a winger or a or a, You could be a cam, too. Could be a winger, a pace and dribbling. You look like you're another cam, so I'm gonna go ahead and train you as a cam. And Thomas Lozano. Do I have you on a plan? No, I don't. Okay, what are you? You are not a center forward. And I'll train you... I'll train you to be left winger, even though you wait for it. Because I, I can always... Because I'm already training a bunch of right wingers, so... But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. We did get some good um, youth scouts in, but the fact that we lost our star striker just completely dampened my mood in this. And we got our final batch of month monthly scouting updates. That's where we'll begin the next episode. But, um, but yeah, the next episode could potentially be the series finale, depending on whether or not I can get Palomino back at the beginning of next season. I don't know how that's going to work out, but if you don't see another episode after the next, then you'll know that that will be the final episode. But um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, and I'll be seeing you guys again next time.